Welcome to the channel, Ajayden Chase, now not only has Russian Patterson denied any involvement in the death of Slikiana, he has no pointed law enforcement in the direction of another individual. Now he's stating that during his date with Slikiana, an individual named Matthew continued to call Slikiana and he overheard the conversation. It seems as if Russian is pointing to the fact that she either had a jealous ex or somebody she was still romantically involved with. Let me continue to go on. They will continue the reason. Look at this. After we did the fish place, the nigga asked her, I said, how should we just send the baby? Yes. I said, friend, carry him. My phone, man. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He said, phone, he said, he said, friend, bring her down here so you can pick him up when he pass. So the nigga said, no, I'm not. Come send the baby. She must meet her. Who up there? So you, you know you know who that the person? Yeah, man, they have everything. Okay. 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 Now, some people have said Anand's story. Well, first and foremost, though, until proven guilty, we can't judge. Even though, based on the actions alone, remember, this is an individual who left his car and then fled the island. Even though, as he detailed it, in car the day yard, and that is where law enforcement went and took the car. Back for forensic testing. Now, even though his lawyers stated that he made contact with them and asked them to make contact with law enforcement, why him never just do that? I will hear the story about him family and things of that nature, and I wonder if their safety could be guaranteed. Well, keep this in mind. Him being off the island does not do that. If him feel like, say, or based on his actions, or where people feel like him do, pose a harm to him and him family. Him leaving the island, not do not for him family. It's almost like him a leave for him family, for deal with the mess. And we have to keep in mind the case with them say the state they have against him. And we have to keep in mind that Russian has chosen to. Talk to numerous vloggers. Give them his side of the story. Even pointed them in the direction of another individual who might have been involved or might have been the actual individual who took the life of Sikiana. But he has refused to give this information to the actual people who are investigating the case, which is the officers in St. James, who is alleged have issued a an arrest warrant. Meaning say, no, even while overseas, he's now currently being classified as a fugitive of the law. Now, some have said that all of these interviews, all of these statements where Russia make is just to cover up the action or the crime that took place. Some say even the text history, the WhatsApp chat history, when present, Look like an alibi. Look like something him plan for use. Some even state that maybe him have our phone if he was the last individual to see her alive. And if it was if he is indeed the individual to take her life, well him could have our phone. Some people are saying about the story. And the fact that he might try to give this story from all the way in Atlanta, Georgia. Some have also stated that even though in the interview, Russian stated that he plans to return and that on the date which his lawyer stated he would return. He planned to return on that very date, but that he could not secure travel tickets to return to the island. Some are saying that if you don't consider this as an excuse, that means you know, no excuses. Remember, based on the text them, where him a show. Him say, when the story release, him see it and text Slikiana and say, ah, what is me I hear? I must joke. And then flee, book a flight the very same day when him a say him here and fly go to North America. But him can't get a flight for return to the island. Talk to law enforcement. As to him say, another individual, the caller, 
law enforcement, hopefully law enforcement that talk to our friends and our family. If this is an individual issue, no. An individual issue involved with to that level where jealous rage could have come into play. And most somebody where at least one of our friend them know or hear or talk of. Unless you now have no close friends. And that is not the case. So, hopefully law enforcement after hearing this. Because him go live. Well, him call him on a live program. And him call him with somebody else. Or no law enforcement seat. The whole media seat. And unless his attorneys also relay this information to the officers. Seeing that him can tell everybody else over the world the information. Unless him attorneys did relay the information to them too as well. But no, they must have said. This individual watch a couple of episodes of the first 48 and feel like him smarter than three and members of law enforcement by telling them about somebody else. But they go check it out. It's a lead. They go follow it up. Of course, they say, Siki and her mother and her friend them. If she have anybody involved with, which is so deeply involved with, like how Ima make it sound. Well, then we don't know of that individual. And then we can help law enforcement identify exactly who that individual is. <sighs> so I guess we'll see. I guess we'll also see if Russian will actually return to the island. If him truly innocent, this will definitely be a sign pointing in that direction though. Truth be told. And this is just me speaking based off of what I see. Seeing that currently him off the island, we don't see how law enforcement in Jamaica without working with their overseas counterparts can get him for return to the island, meaning they arrest him and bring him back. Georgia is a big state, not America is an even bigger country. We know the flight was to Atlanta, Georgia. The phone name call the people him from. Might have been a phone way. Was purchased in Atlanta, Georgia. Is he still in Atlanta, Georgia? No. Nobody don't know. Nobody don't know. They have whole heap of people overseas. We're on the run. Overseas. From overseas authorities. So imagine an individual that is on the run. From authorities in his own country. But is now in a different country. A country that is... Many times larger than Jamaica. But that no mean it impossible. And right there in Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm there, you have a whole heap of Jamaicans. You have a whole heap of Jamaicans where see this and outraged at even the fact that you might try to escape. And was also successful because I actually make it off the island. And then I say justice. Just as all them wants is justice for Donald Lee Donaldson and all the other individuals who have suffered similar fates and have lost their lives to violent crime and the perpetrators are still not brought to justice or have still not faced justice for their crimes. So I feel like say him there in Atlanta, miles away from Jamaica. But there are Jamaicans there. And law enforcement overseas will aid Jamaican law enforcement by arresting this individual as long as there is an arrest warrant for him in his country. Remember, a violent crime. This is not an individual who never pay him taxes. This is violent crime. Means he eh, is a threat to the American citizens, to themselves. So it's not far fetched. It might not happen regularly, but it's not far fetched. Talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Boy, leaving the island was definitely not the best choice for Russian Patterson. And the fact that he's maintaining his innocence. That's definitely the actions of somebody who guilty or something. So now that he's 
forward out the information and say another individual might have been the one who took Slicky Anna's life. Of course, law enforcement did follow up any leads of them up, seeing that the person of interest, seeing that he was the last individual to be seen with her alive. I know that he must say him have this seat. Is there some key? Based on what he must say, this is a key piece of, of um, information. He must say the fact that she was receiving calls from an individual and it's so in a type of way. Then this is a key piece of evidence. Why am I all this from the law enforcement if him claims say more help and him indeed innocent? Him not think it true. Him lying if you talk to him. You are turning, you are representing him. If you talk to him and I says, an innocent man, you now make it look good on your side. See that y'all have information the law enforcement need, and that is why them call you in at the first place. So be coming in the comment section, drop a like on the video, share the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Until the reason again, live love and prosper. Stay tuned.